Hello and welcome to Cinebuck Presents, where I give my two bucks instead of my two cents. When I first saw the trailer for this film, I immediately thought of Kung Fu Panda, since they both share the same idea of having a cast of anthropomorphic animals getting involved in some form of martial arts. I didn't find out until later that it's actually meant to be a loose remake of the Mel Brooks film Blazing Saddles. Matter of fact, the original working title for this film was Blazing Samurai. It would be unfair of me to outright judge this film as simply an uninspired version of Kung Fu Panda, so why don't I tell you how the story goes? In a land mainly populated by cats, a high-ranking cat official named Ikachu wants to expand his great palace. But a nearby small village happens to be in the way of his expansion, so he tries different methods of driving the villagers out. Then he gets an idea of appointing a dog named Hank to be the village's new samurai, for he believes that since cats and dogs are natural enemies, this would create tension and hostility among the villagers, thus making it a lot easier to drive them out faster. Now, Hank happens to have aspirations of becoming a samurai himself, and he seeks help in training from a cat sensei named Jimbo, who is initially reluctant in helping out with the training. As soon as Hank and Jimbo learn more about Ikachu's evil plot, it's up to the two of them to go through the samurai training and do what they can to save all of the cat villagers before the village gets completely wiped out. Now, let's talk about the positives and the negatives that are featured in the film. First, the negatives. As I've said before, it's meant to be a loose remake of Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles at least had a raw impact in its sense of humor that makes it rather timeless. This film, on the other hand, doesn't have that same kind of raw impact, especially with the way it approached certain comedic ideas, like the frequent fourth wall breakings, the toilet humor, and the groan-worthy puns. I was also a little confused in how it was set up. Supposedly, it's meant to take place in ancient times reminiscent of feudal Japan, yet it incorporates quite a number of modern-day references into the plot. Considering the fact that the film had been in development for quite a number of years and that it had seven writers and three directors involved with the project, kind of says something right there. Now onto the positives. Some of the animation's quite nice, particularly the use of 2D animation in a couple of sequences, and I also admire the diversity in the voice casting. On the whole, it's kind of a mixed bag. Some ideas work, some not as much. But at least it's mildly amusing enough that even kids might like it. If you're looking for something to watch just for the fun of it, this one might be right up your alley. Or should I say, right up your alley, cat? <sighs> yeah, I know, that joke was dumb. On a scale between 1 and 10, I give this film a five and a half. This is Renton Whitetail having given his two bucks and signing off. See you next time and take care.